Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this is the first of my uh, videos I promised to make uh, when I release my mini uh, Lego haul. Anyway, let's see. This is the uh, Technic Lego set 42024 container truck or as we say in Britain a uh, skip lorry. This is the original. I'll just show you a little picture of what it's like okay and uh, I've modified this in the past well this is a continuation of what I've done this time I've added a few extra modifications either to enhance its appearance or uh, or to add an extra sort of function first of all what I've done is I've um, I've added a complete floor to the cab because I get tired of these sort of see-through floors and all it is it's uh, it's an 11 by 5 fairing panel but where those two angle beams stick out I've cut two little notches and I've fitted it in there and down here there's a yellow um, beam and in here it's a bit difficult to show you but there's also a grey beam just to match the floor. The yellow is simply to match the front. This would be a 13 and the one inside would be 11. Another thing I've done to the front, I didn't like the grill so I've sort of made it a little more solid so that's a 5 beam and these are half beams. Just there. I've left everything loose and I've simply slotted them into their original places and these are 11M beams just to connect the two I couldn't find a yellow version of the original part so I used that. If you don't like this setup you can always use a 7M beam instead okay at the top of the cab so if we look at this I uh, I filled in the holes just here with a 3M beam and two pegs uh, pins so it sort of slots in there and just finishes that off okay so I've done that nothing else uh, moving along I've changed a few colors a few of the components I'm waiting for a 6M red half beam but for now I've used a 5M just just for now just to change that I've uh, done the same on the other side I've also changed these connectors there's one there and there's another one there they used to be yellow well I don't really like random yellow components so I tend to replace them with matching colors if I can so that's what I've done. That's purely for aesthetics. Another thing I've done is on the real thing they have a bed where the uh, container or skip sits. It's not sort of open plan like it is here. So what I've done is I've used a 15, 15, sorry, a 15, a 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 11 M beams and one, two, three, five M beams and uh, a three by five angle beam, one there and one there and these black pins simply rest on here so that it fits like this so if I go down you can see that it's level I've also taken that uh, axle connector out and put a uh, 9M axle in there instead so this acts as a hinge so if you want to look at the uh, details you can and if you want to leave it a little more closed it's a little more realistic like that so that's what I've done this notch here and here is simply to allow for these axle connectors because when that thing comes back that rests just there okay 
another thing it's more of a design fault with this uh, design there's no safety clutch so I've removed one of those gears and replaced it with a safety clutch I've done nothing else I've not changed anything else in there that's all I've done and it seems to give a, give a bit of stability when it reaches the end of its uh, um, cycle unfortunately I tried to fit another one down here but there's no way of me doing it without completely redesigning the the system so I've just had to live with that if I could find a way trust me I, I would so if I close that down moving on to the uh, chains the original chains are big chunky things like this and what I've done is I've bought some more realistic looking chains these are from probably minifigure scale and uh, they come I think they're 17 or 19 links long including these and what I've done is I've simply taken an original piece like this and just slipped it into the, the little notch and uh, these are one two three four five six seven eight nine links long including the connectors which I simply connect to the studs which are there like so and um, the other thing I've done since uh, since my last video is I've replaced the modified pins I made with some proper pins so we have a blue axle pin which will fit in like this so it allows these to move around but it doesn't necessarily need this bar so basically that's my uh, modification video number two on this uh, please let me know what you think thank you for watching Bye.